Jigsaw is a specialist in torture and a mastermind when it comes to dealing with his victims. What makes it even more exciting is how he refers to everything as a game. His kind heart gives you a way out. In the end, these traps prove to be little more than a terrifying way to die rather than a fun adventure. Jigsaw and his trainees are not looking forward to similar plans, but his victims seem to have little trouble escaping from what appears to be no escape at all. No one should have the power to determine when someone dies, yet Jigsaw does it without hesitation and with zeal. He feels his victims take their lives for granted, so he presents them with a life-changing task. We're giving you the top 10 most scary and crazy saw traps of all time in today's video. Let's get right into the list. 10. The Death Mask Saw 2 3 3D Although the Death Mask was a simple assignment, the demand was unavoidable. The contraption had two pieces, one of which was studded with many pointed lethal nails, aimed down the victim's head and wrapped around their necks, while the other half had a timer attached to it. The victim had 60 seconds to discover the key to release the padlock that held the mask in place or be crushed in the head by spikes of nails from the mask once the game started. Michael Marks fell prey to the trap, and in order to get out, he needed a key, which was surgically implanted behind his right eye by Dr. Lawrence Gordon, the Jigsaw Killer's apprentice. Michael perished in pain after failing to extract the key from his skull. Flesh weight, 9 pounds, saw 6. They say that desperation causes you to conceive about the unthinkable, but facing death forces you to accomplish the impossible. This trap featured two captives who were pitted against one another to see who could give up the most flesh in exchange for their lives. Simone and Eddie were money lenders who gave individuals more money knowing they couldn't pay it back and were therefore kidnapped by the Jigsaw Killer's accomplice, Detective Mark Hoffman. After 60 seconds, mechanical devices with drills were implanted on the patient's heads, crushing their skulls and killing the one with less flesh to contribute. Eddie began slashing his stomach flesh with knives and a meat cleaver because he was overweight, whereas Simone resorted to cutting her hand because she was slim. Simone eventually alternated between the knife she was using to finish off her hand and the meat clever to tip the scales in her favor, since she was terrified of Eddie being ahead of the game. 8. The Pendulum Trap A man victim was bound to a table and a huge blade replaced what should have been a pendulum lamp in the trap. It's not amusing. The sign of the blade lowering down as it continues to swing back and forth beneath the victim is scary and terrible. It turned out to be no different in terms of saw kills escaping. 7. The Knife Chair Saw 4 The knife chair may have appeared to be a lesser version of the trap, but it doesn't make it any less frightening to watch. The victim was bound and confined in an ordinary chair, with the only option to escape being to pull a trigger roughly two feet away from the head. A group of sharp knives, positioned like a barrier to the face, stands in the path of this trigger. In the end, you'll only be able to activate the trigger with your forehead once your face has successfully forced these knives to contact the trigger in exchange for your life. Despite the fact that Cecil Adams passed the exam and lived, you might agree with me that it was one terrible sight we never want to see again. 6. The Shotgun Carousel Saw 6 The trap resembled a playground, but it turned out to be pure terror. Six persons were caught in the trap, and the lives of just two of them were in the hands of a seventh victim. The six victims were shackled to the grab hooks of a revolving playground circle in the abandoned Rowan Zoological Institute. After a spin, a shotgun carousel would periodically stop in front of any of the victims. Even yet, it would only stand up and shoot skyward if the seventh individual, who stood on a pedestal outside the cage, considered them worthy of saving. However, every time he touched the two buttons he required to save a person, his hand would be wounded by a metal spike. This was William's test, and it involved his assistants Emily, Aaron, Josh, Gina, Shelby, and Dave, with only Emily and Shelby surviving. 5. The Rack Saw 3 The Jigsaw Killer's favorite torture machine is the rack, which comes as no surprise. The Twisting Crucifix was another name for it. The victim was imprisoned in a large crucifix mechanism with gears that held their head, arms, body, and legs with bolts, preventing them from escaping. 
the victim is subjected to full torment. The victim's body parts would be twisted 360 degrees, one after another, until their bones were crushed. Once the game began with each gear moving one at a time, they could only rely on the help of a second person to locate the key to the trap's deactivation. Even that would be difficult, given that the key was attached to a wire that was connected to a shotgun that would shoot anyone who stood in front of it. 4. The Pit of Needles Saw 2 The needle pit may have appeared to be a simple task, but it was no less terrifying. The Pit of Needles was located on the top level of the nerve gas house and was a huge hole in the center of the room filled with tons of discarded nasty syringes. To discover the syringe with the key attached, the victim had to rummage among the syringes. Amanda was tossed into the pit by the furious and merciless Xavier, with needles stabbing her in different areas of her body until she located the glow stick to which the key was connected. You won't be able to view it again. 3. The Glass Coffin Saw 4, 5, 6 The Jigsaw Killer designed the glass coffin. The coffin was put within a chamber with massive solid metal walls, except for the bulletproof glass coffin once the game began. These metal walls would advance slowly and methodically towards each other, smashing anyone in their way. In addition, the steel glass coffin was to be given oxygen for a brief period before being transported to a lower department under the chamber, allowing the victim to be crushed by the walls when the game began. The casket, however, was packed with shards of glass, yet it was the only way out. Agent Peter Strom fell prey to this trap when he refused to go inside the coffin as ordered, resulting in a violent collision between two metal walls and the jigsaw apprentice's escape. 2. The Reverse Bear Trap Saw Without a doubt, one of the most horrifying moments is the reverse bear trap. The victim is lured into the trap by a mechanized gadget connected to their head that hooks their lower and upper jaws and is elegantly fastened with a padlock. The victim had only 60 seconds to discover the key to release the trap after which their jaws would be torn apart if they failed. Amanda was the first person to fall prey to the reverse bear trap. She awoke to find herself confined in a room where she was presented to her heroin addiction test. Unlike previous victims, she was fortunate enough to be the first to survive the Jigsaw Killer's games, but only after stabbing her paralyzed patient many times to murder him in order to obtain the key to unlocking the device from his stomach. 1. Horsepower Trap Saw 3D The horsepower trap is a slaughter in the truest sense of the word. It didn't only include one victim, but four, with three more lives in the hands of the primary victim. The scenario was situated in a garage, with Jack supporting a Chevrolet vehicle. The principal victim sat in the front seat, her back plastered to the seat. Once the game began, the primary victim had 30 seconds to pull through his skin and away from the seat in order to operate a lever link to the motor, which would halt the continually speeding automobile and end the sequence of events. A strapped female victim's head was poised to be crushed beneath the car's right rear wheel once it dropped. The arms and jaw of a third victim, who was fastened to a metal post behind the automobile, were linked to the car's back by chains and metal rings. His limbs and mouth would be torn off once the confined rushing vehicle was led onward. Once the automobile starts moving, the final victim tethered to the garage door immediately in front of it will be ran over. Evan, his fiancée Kara, and two of his pals, Jake and Dan, who Hoffman labeled as bigots, were the victims in this incident. Evan tried, but it wasn't enough to rescue the day. Tearing through your bonded skin is virtually difficult. There are many various types of Saw killings in the Saw franchise, but here are our top 10 most horrific Saw kills. Let us know what you think of our choice in the comments area. If you liked the video, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification button to be alerted when new videos are released.